So we don't know where we're going, but it's a bank holiday weekend. Frank, what do you think? Where should we go? Um, <coughs> I, I didn't know Dad, I got an ear infection. You've got an ear infection, I know, but we've got all the equipment to clean that out. Ollie, where do you think we should go? That's according to the mountains, Daddy. The mountains. That might be a little bit far. Don't you think, Frank? I want to go to the sea. The sea. You want the sea and the mountains. Okay. So, um, well, who knows where we'll go? Check it out. Yes, we've started our journey by coming back to Beachy Head. It seems apt because it was one of the first places we went to with Betty Boo, um, staying in the Beachy Head pub car park. And uh, it could be one of the last places as well because apparently our new van, Hunter, is in build at the moment. So we're doing a little, week, little trip um, away for a long weekend and the first stop at short notice without any planning is is the Beachy Head pub again at Beachy Head absolutely beautiful stunning views we just caught the sunset absolutely amazing and from here we will continue the adventure tomorrow along the coast and who knows where we'll end up I certainly don't know no idea anyway let's see what happens This is your bedtime story, boys. Okay, are you listening, both of you? Once upon a time, in a very, very dark forest. Oh, God, Frank. I mean, seriously, I'm just about to read your. Morning, Ollie. Ooh, Ollie. 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 <laughs> Another beautiful day. Is Mummy making strange noises in the shower? Is it cold? So for the benefit of our viewers... Emma is showering, finally, in the car park of the Beachy Head pub in our Wolf Worthy, using the shower attachment. Nice. How's it feeling there? It's perfect for cleaning yourself. I mean, you would need a bit of warmth outside to have the, this cold shower. Well, it is, it is roasting in fairness, isn't it? But, uh, I mean, you know, you just use a little bit of water and you lather up before you do it. Um, and I feel, well, and hardly any water used. Hardly any water used. Perfect. And look how well that fits underneath the top of the van, which actually holds it in place if there's a wind. <laughs> right, is this where we steal all Emma's clothes and put them at the other end of the car park? Mm. So it's amazing how even six months into having the van, I'm still discovering things and features of the van that I wasn't aware of and discovering that certain things that we bought that I thought were a bit of a waste of money actually have turned out to be highly invaluable. So in regard to things that we didn't think, or certainly I didn't think was particularly going to be useful, I didn't think the shower attachment at the back of the van, I thought it was weak, um, pointless. Um, I didn't think that the pop-up tent was much point in that um, because I always put the blinds down in the van. And also the bivy loo, I didn't think we would use it. I thought we'd just have it in there for emergencies. And um, I'll show you that in a second. But actually, the shower is perfect because it saves the water and you just use it for rinsing off some suds. The tent is brilliant for either a shower or the toilet. And the, the bivy loo, um, I know it's a taboo subject, but I've actually used it multiple times. And actually, it's brilliant. It takes up no space and um, I've ordered additional um, refills for it.
and unfortunately i hate to say it but the shower attachment the bivy loo and the pop-up tent were all the idea of the assistant navigation officer any comments assistant navigation officer uh i'd like a promotion firstly a promotion yeah I think you've okay. just said that the yeah. three key things that are absolutely I'll, I'll, fantastic. I'll put it. I'll put it to the committee. Right. That's uh, that's Barry, Frank, and Ollie and me. We'll discuss it. Right. Well, definitely Ollie and Barry will back me up. Frank's a bit of a daddy's boy. Mm. Anyway, um, what I have realised, and this is to all you hairy ladies out there, is when you put your makeup on, in beautiful beachy head with a mirror, you realise in daylight, with proper light, you've got a lot more hairs on your face than you ever realised. Jesus. Didn't bring a tweezers. Ah. Uh, bring a tweezers, ladies. Tweezers. Oh, oh, that's a bit rude. Don't know who Cocoon is, but they're very rude. If anyone knows Cocoon from Belgium, can you please have a word? Um, and I think the things that I've realized about this lovely way of life is everything is calmer more gentle less rushed and my water holder for my doggies and then it just sucks it all back in if they don't use it is invaluable because on those days that you didn't think it was hot the trouble is actually it looks it look i mean in reverse it almost looks like a she a she wee isn't it? You could. No, I won't even I go there. I won't even. <laughs> it's not a shiwi. It's for feeding water to my doggy. Hey, hey, boo. Bank holiday rain in Winchelsea. Saint Mary's Bay. Desolate, windy. And that's just my wife. <laughs> Sorry. I apologise. Passed it in because I can't be bothered to cook. Dogs are settled. Uh, lots of dog walkers going past, all very friendly, locals. Um, yeah, really, really quiet. Another camper van down there be racing up and down the road. They won't be racing up and down the road because it's full of potholes. St Mary's Bay. Morning campers. How beautiful is that? And over there is Dungeness Power Station. That's where they used to make dungeons. Forecast today, mostly sunny, so Emma took the boys out for a walk and she got poured on by the one shower of the day. Frank, what do you think? Are you wet? You're not saying much this morning. Um, well, eating my breakfast, I don't think I eat all of my breakfast. How come all these got breakfast and I don't know? No, he's only got some breakfast left. I didn't get up much. What's down there, boys? Go get it, whatever it is. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. What you got, Frank? Holly, what's down there? Holly, you got powder on your nose. You're having a rest. <laughs> Jeez. What are they doing? <laughs> Dear. Alright, it's going to be a dusty van later. What's the smirking for? Jesus. Oh well, a bit late now. 
Hoover at speed. Come on it's then. very windy here, Ollie, isn't it? Oh, yes, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Yes, very windy indeed. So, yeah, a quick... We decided, you know, rather than running around trying to get places and do things, we actually, we're both quite tired. So we just found a nice stretch of coast, uh, just uh, right on the outskirts of Hythe, where we can just pull up, pay a few pounds to park for a few hours, and we're just going to chill and enjoy the sea sounds and the view and have a nice nap. I might even play my guitar. Good boy. The wind is blowing, I can't see. I'm singing to you. I'm singing to you, buddy. I know. I know. I'll always... Oh, I messed it up, didn't I? I'll always be around, Ollie. <laughs> yes. Mummy's gone. It's just you and me. Oh. Don't tell your mum. Look. Let's see if your mum. Oops. Oh, Barry. Oh, Barry. Oh, Barry. Oh, ho, ho, Ollie, look what's up to Barry. Oh, look at Barry. Look at Barry. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, your mum's going to go mental when she sees this. Oh, and we're going to get letters of complaints. Oh, aren't we? But we don't care, do we? Barry is having fun. Oh, Barry. Barry. So, the assistant navigation officer. Oh, look out the way the, the sun's, the sky is going white and then dark again. As the camera tries to compensate. How weird. It's almost like we don't live in reality. Weird. Anyway, um, so the assistant navigation officer has suggested, since I haven't had a shower or wash this morning, um, that I make the most of the opportunity and actually go in the sea. Now, Anyone that knows me knows me, I'm not really a sea person. It's cold, there's creatures, it's salty, and it's very wavy out there today, uh, very windy. But you know what, I'm gonna get my microfiber towel and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm, oh, Frank, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Now, I don't need to make myself colder than I really need to. So, I've got a vest. You may remember the pick place from a previous video. If not, go check it out. Uh, I don't have any swimming shorts, so I'm gonna go down to my pants. I've got my microfiber towel. And um, fortunately, I do have some rubber water shoes in the back of the van, so I will put those on because I don't like the little pebbly things on my feet or seaweed on my toes so I'll be putting those on so talking of useful things in the van and useful cubby holes so in the in the right at the back of the van in the back cupboard that you open that you access from the back right at the top there's a gap through over the top into the front wardrobe which is ideal for slotting in things like these so it takes up no space they're just wedged in the gap at the top I almost forgot they were there uh, so I'm going to put those on. I'm already sitting in my pants, but there's people around, so I'm going to have to make a run for it. I'll see you on the other side.
dreaming of home, Barry. We are now going to head to a campsite for our last night of the long weekend. Ooh, yeah. Primarily so that we can sit out with the camp chairs and have a campfire, uh, deploy the portable portable campfire. Oh, my God, a long tongue. Um, so uh, we're going to Cox Hill campsite in Shepherdswell in Kent and we will see what it's like. It was randomly booked but, ah, on pitchup.com, Frank. On pitchup.com, um, it's got availability. It allows campfires, it allows dogs and it allows wives. Great campsite. Loads of space. <laughs> Loads of vans. Did consider just parking up in the middle to have the most space around me, but you know what? That way is east, so the sun's going to come up there, and that means I'm going to have a nice, cool lie-in without being woken up by the baking sun. Hee, <laughs> Betty Boo. So, if you want to save money on buying bags of kindling, and instead get an extra bag of logs out of your money, hey. Don't bring a dog with you. He's just nicked one of my kindling. Well, keep him happy. Portable fire pit appears in an earlier video. Anyway, so what you do is you buy an extra bag of logs and you have an axe in the back of the van and you create your own kindling from a log. A couple of safety tips. Number one, don't hold the camera whilst holding the log and the axe. So here's how we're going to do it. We are going to use a stick or something other than our fingers to hold this one steady. We've chosen this because it's got a nice edge on it. Something to hold it steady. Something to hold it steady and I'm just going to take this edge off. Unlike that. There we go, perfect, perfect. Oh yes, perfect. And if the axe gets stuck, get another big chunk of heavy wood. The heavier the better. Lovely. It's a little bit dark here on the campsite. That's because it's night and the sun's gone down. Um, so this is our last night. So it's nice to sort of, I mean, I know it's nice to be by the sea, but it's nice to be able to go on the campsite and have a fire as well. It's a great campsite. I can't remember, what was it called? What's the campsite called? I can't remember. I'll, I'll, it was, I'll post it there. Future self, put it there, just over Emma's face. The name of the campsite over Remus face. Um, highlight M. I'm, I'm stuck. I've got two highlights. I, I'm going to go for one. Mm. Okay. You're going to be surprised with this one. Yeah, go on. Go on with it. The highlight was meeting the guy from London that was parked up at BG Head and was heading off to his private... Skinny dipping beach. <laughs> it wasn't a skinny dipping beach. He was heading off to his private beach... To go skinny dipping. Where... <laughs> he didn't say that. He was just a really nice guy. He... To he... meeting people. Right. Low light. People have got to go to bed. They can't be really listening to you wittering all night. I didn't even get on to the key points that he made. Oh, sorry, go on then. <laughs> well, he was talking about seals and everything and how seals. The seals are used to him coming down there so they don't do anything. But when somebody kayaks past, the seals all dip under. That's, that's, you know why that is, though. He's got their seal of approval. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> right, your low light? Apart from that gag. Um, My low light... It's really difficult to get a low light. My low light is simply that my spaniels get so excited in the morning and it's very difficult. Is to... it a euphemism or are you talking about the dogs? 
talking for the dogs. Right. <clears throat> they get very excited, and and I'm just not a morning person. Mummy, let's have a look. Hang on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can see tongues. Oh. Good morning. So, our final morning, we've woken up, we're going to be heading back shortly. And I just wanted to end on a note about camping hair. My my hair is, is well known and famous all across the internet for not doing well camping. It looks right mess. So, so, I am going to try this morning. I'm not going to have a proper shower because we'll be home soon. But I'm going to use the pits and bits that we reviewed in the previous video to do my hair. So there's no water required. You just you just lather it in and then you dry it off with a towel. And I'm going to do before and after. Before. And here we are after. Yeah, well, it's kind of done it. I feel a bit fresher. It hasn't made any of it grow back, but yeah, it'll do. So saying goodbye for this episode. See you in the next episode. Assistant navigation officer. I have to keep on cleaning, otherwise he beats me. <sighs> She's busy. Uh, Ollie, say goodbye. Oh, I'm any food? No food. I don't even know where Frank's gone. Frank, come here. <whistles> say goodbye. No. Frank, say goodbye. Bye, Dad. Can I come home too? Yes, you can come home. Come on then. Oh, you're in a... Look, you're all knotted in ropes. Oh, dear. Well, that'll keep you safe for five minutes. Um, and I don't know where Barry's gone. Anyway, see you next time.